Hello online army. So as you might have seen, we just released Precious Plastic version 3. And everything what we made is open source online for free. However, this time we figured it would also be nice to really see it in real life, touch and feel all the things we made. So we also did an offline exhibition during the Dutch Design Week in Eindhoven. However, not everyone is able to really go here, so I'm gonna show you a few things we did. Starting off with this one, it's a tip from the guy from the zine. Free billboard. <laughs> Hello Katrina! Hello there! <laughs> Where are we currently? We are currently in the precious plastic container. As seen in the videos. As seen in the videos. Um, at uh, Stripe on the exhibition. So um, we are showing all the process and the machines and um, how people can work here and um, produce new products. Nice. And where is this container going after the Dutch the Design Week? The container is going to this very island after the Dutch Design Week. It will be shipped there. Um, to the Maladives. To the Maladives, and um, it's, it has many islands around there, and just plastic floating from the oceans and coming to the islands. And people don't really know what to do with them, so um, we will put the container there, and then the people can turn plastic into nice products. Awesome, thanks. And in the middle of this square in Eindhoven, you have this department store Bijkorf. Same as in Amsterdam, different building. So we had two windows again, one with precious waste and one where we put our diamonds, so you can check that out. And while we put the plastic in, I hit the roof with my van. So sorry Bikorf, that's on me. And I just heard that um, some guy walked up to me and said they built their shredder, our shredder for their project, which is here, a mobile cart to turn plastic waste into 3D printer filament. So here we got the shredder. And right here at the Van Abbe Museum, they are exhibit some digital machines of fresh plastic. And here in the caserna, they are showing some videos. Videos right there. You should all stop printing crap. Look at that guy. Now I like all these exhibitions, but they are our small ones. See, we also set up a big one for version 3 ourselves in this huge space. So it starts off with trash or plastic. And inside this room, we're showing a lot of possibilities what you can do with it. So it starts off with the machines, which you've seen before, which shred the plastic and uh, these machines heat it up to turn it into something new. But one big thing we did is a lot of experiments to really explore the possibilities of working with plastic. Right, Jerry? Yes, that's correct. So while developing version 3, we also did a lot of experiments to see sometimes you can use the plastic without using the machines and fusing bags together. Or you can create whole new textures of plastics which don't look like normal, anyday plastics that you would normally see. Um, and we also made some beams, different colors, different sizes, different textures. And this really opens up a whole new level of possibilities where you can create it, use it as a construction material and create whole statues and creations. Like a tower? Like a tower. All right, cool. Then we go to Mattia. Hey, hey. hey. What's happening? Uh, it's all good here. <laughs> So here we have this gigantic table from the community. Um, these are all products that people in the community made uh, throughout the years. And we have people from, uh, from London, from Germany, from Morocco, from Spain, from Slovakia, Ukraine, the whole world basically. And they send us their products and we showcase them here for a week. So we have uh, a very wide range of different products we have, for example, this beautiful flower pots from Morocco, for instance. We have this nice prototype for sunglasses uh, from the guys in Barcelona. We have these amazing baskets from uh, Zerenev in Ukraine. Handmade with extrusion machine, right? That's impressive. Amazing. We got this beautiful 
sheets from the guys in London, happenstance, as well as stools from Morocco. Well, you should be here and check them out, it's amazing. And on the back, pictures of everyone, right? From so, around the world. And I'm a beautiful logo up there. <laughs> Made from the community as well. Yeah. Even better. And over here instead, we have uh, one of the coolest features of version 3, which is the map to showcase all the different uh, workshops around the world, as well as uh, our most favorite new tool. And uh, show it. Game, which is the one to get started feature. Right it's, there. It's right there. So it shows the, the full extent of people that want to get started with recycling plastic around the world. So potential yeah. recyclers. And uh, we want you now to sign up to the map and get started. Exactly. Yeah, All right, here we have Matthijs. Right, this so, little table. Over here we have uh, show the process from waste, uh, coffee cup lids, to the raw material, the shredded plastic, to some amazing gold bars, or for instance, these flower pots, also get to the shreds and making these nice balls. Cool. All right, thanks. And then here in the middle, we have our artifact. And Joey, our craftsman from France, you've seen him before. He's gonna talk a bit about these objects. Yeah, so in those objects, we, re we really put a lot of effort, uh, love and care to show people how far we can go with plastic and uh, how beautiful we can uh, do. And uh, for all of this object, we have some little story about plastic. So for instance, this one is a garden chair, a normal one. But uh, yeah, so basically uh, it, everything is done by hand. And so uh, we you want to show that, yeah, out of industrial process, plastic can be really beautiful. Um, a lot of hand carving by you, right? I do. This one, this one is a vegan ivory, so done with uh, extruded uh, polystyrene. And here the story is more about um, um, plastic, because plastic starts when uh, ivory was not legal anymore. So uh, a company asked scientists to create this new material, plastic. So at the beginning, plastic was as much precious as ivory. So that's it. So now it's back to precious again. All right, thanks. So this is basically our exhibition. Um, and here we have, well, he's looking outside now. <laughs> Cardboard taco, always a pleasure. Um, and then we have one last thing, which is around here. And finally, we have Envisions, which have always super nice exhibitions. And we have a little space back there. And this thing pretty much sums up our, all of our exhibitions. See, here we have plastic trash and a whole bob of shredded plastic. And we provide all the tools and machines to turn this into something new. But we invite designers to really use this and push the material to the limits and find new applications. So, get started. Thanks for watching and see you in next month's video.